evening, Nevada is the first state in the West to officially weigh in on choosing its presidential candidates. And this is the final day of early voting ahead of the caucus. Locations are closing in two hours' time. The ITM's Vanessa Murphy is live at the Culinary Union location in downtown Las Vegas. Hi, Vanessa. Hi there. The Nevada Democrats say in the first three days of voting, more than 36,000 Nevadans early voted, some of them waiting in lines more than three hours. You can see the line here in front of the Culinary Union, not quite three hours. People trying to get their early votes in before 8 p.m. This early voting is coming to an end, and we are just four days away also from the caucus. I had an advantage. Because of my disadvantage. Albert Henry says he was allowed to skip the 45 minute wait at the Doolittle Community Center in North Las Vegas. This early voting for the Nevada Democratic Caucus allows participants to skip the process, which could take several hours Saturday. Because I don't have transportation to stay, stay in place all day, so uh, this was was convenient, and I wanted to take advantage of it. We also saw Attorney General Aaron Ford early voting Tuesday. This is the first time Nevada Democrats can vote early for the caucus. And less than three weeks ago, the state party had to switch plans after the app they were going to use failed in the Iowa caucus. How confident are you that the early votes will be incorporated on caucus day the right way? Absolutely confident. I mean, I have uh, every confidence in our chair, William McCurdy, uh, in our executive director, Elena Mounts, and all of the staffers and workers who are participating in this. Along with paper, the state party plans on using iPads at caucus sites to incorporate early votes and to do caucus math. There's a special formula. Christopher Urbe says he will be a precinct chair Saturday and has attended several training sessions. You could see the screenshots, but I haven't actually seen the iPad itself, no. A spokeswoman for Nevada Democrats tells the I team volunteers are getting hands on training on the iPads starting Tuesday. I think Iowa should have gotten it correct so we wouldn't be in this mess. <laughs> I, d I don't blame the party for what's happened because they've had to do this on the fly rather quickly, and it's a very involved task. Now, we've also learned some ballots from early voting are being deemed invalid, for example, if they are missing a signature. Now, state Democratic Party chair and Assemblyman William McCurdy says it's a small percentage, but he is not saying what that percentage is. He says the state party is contacting campaigns in case they want to reach out to those early voters in case they want to participate in the caucus Saturday, and perhaps that's after they've waited in a line like this. REPORTING LIVE IN DOWNTOWN LAS VEGAS, VANESSA MURPHY, 8 NEWS NOW.